this morning I don't want to go motorcycle camping, but I got a few things to do. For, I was gonna leave this, there's too much to do. So let's get to route planning. Google my maps. Look at this mess. I gotta pack the bike and my wife's going with me. So we gotta pack her stuff. And so I was like, oh, just throw my hair. But uh, and she has no place to, sorry about that. All right, guys, I'm putting together. I know this was gonna be a motorcycle camping trip, but um, take a look at the map. So I put this map together and, uh, oh, can you see that? I think so. Um, so the idea is to start here at Tinder Cycle Works. It's gonna be a long trip up Highway 5 through Sacramento uh, to Highway 70, which is 99 to Highway 70. Still a long trip up past Lake Oroville but it gets really fun up through here and it's Highway 70 up through the Feather River Canyon and kind of see what that might end up looking like. Uh, actually, there was a fire that kind of came through here, but um, it should be still really beautiful. And then we were gonna camp way up in this area, but you know, as I was thinking about it, um, I was, th and I found, let me just show you guys. So I saw this picture right here of this lodge and I thought my wife would absolutely love this. It's a little bit more expensive than, you know, I can really afford. But I think she's going to love it, so it's going to make it worth it. I'll just uh, make a stretch on that, and I'll make it happen. So I booked that. So we're going to stay in a hotel instead of camping. Shh. Don't, don't tell her. Shh. <laughs> and, then, and then let's see. What does the rest of this look like? Well, we're going to take Highway 49 um, all the way from its start, and it starts right here all the way down to Southern California, but instead, I think we'll skip over here on Highway 89, and then go up past Gold Lake, and then take this down through Downeyville. It's beautiful down through this part of Highway 49. And we'll either go back out to the freeway here, depending on how she feels about the riding at this point, that's day two, or we'll just continue on Highway 49 up through about Angel's Camp, and then cruise back over. New Recycle Works, a two-day trip. And I think with a hotel stay, it's going to be a lot nicer for her and she'll want to do another ride. If we do the camping, it's really crowded up there. There was no reservations available, so we we're going to have to camp in um, primitive camping, so no bathrooms, shovel toilet. A nice hotel is going to be better. I hope so. All right, guys. Hey, we are on our trip and uh, headed up Highway 5 right now, so we stopped at Star Coffee. Uh, yeah. So we stopped at the uh, coffee shop, got a um, uh, little bit of breakfast and some coffee, and we are going to be on our way. Uh, so we've been in, what, about 30 miles, something like that, to this point, right? <laughs> Maybe 30, 50, oh, probably about 50 miles, actually, yeah. And so from here, we will head out Highway 5. We're going to go out to through Sacramento, Oroville, and then up Highway 70 through the Feather River Canyon, and uh, and uh, hop on there, young lady. Uno, dos. It's been a pretty smooth ride. Yeah, it's been real nice. I was, uh, a little worried there'd be a lot of wind because there was reports there was going to be a bunch of wind but so far I haven't noticed it on the road again I know it really is perfect for riding right now look at these grooves in the uh, cement here definitely hit the center <laughs> they're like a foot deep if I were to put my foot over there, I'd like you can put, they can actually make it to where you couldn't touch the ground. I mean, it's, I know you can't see that on the, maybe right there. Look at that one. That is like a good solid, almost a foot deep. <laughs> oh my God. Don't park there. You get stuck. <laughs> so we just got done doing a hundred mile review on the R1150 RT. And I can say that the 2009 R1200RT, it's a, it's a pretty substantial improvement because it's smoother 
the suspension smoother, power seems smoother, there's less vibration. Suspension really is just amazing on this bike. Um, it seems really good on the 1150, but on the 1200, it's just like so smooth. It's really unbelievable. I have to have you ride on the other one. I wonder how that one would be. Yeah, it seems, you know, comfort wise, it's awesome. And this bike's just so comfortable. And then it just cruises. And I've got cruise control, which is pretty, pretty handy to have, you know. I don't think I need like adaptive or anything, but just having this cruise control like this, you know, we were going along and I can rest my hand. And definitely, I think on both bikes, though we haven't tested this two up, you know, once you're cruising at speed, if I, let's see, we'll get it, I'll get up to speed, but I'll tell you what I'm talking about, and that is that I can have this windshield Let's see, we'll get, so windshield makes a big difference, I guess is what I'm saying. I can change how much wind you have as a passenger pretty easily. And I think if I just go ahead and move that windscreen down, I'll be able to hear it in your helmet. Yeah, there we go. All that sound. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> totally noticeable. It's amazing. I mean, I haven't had a bike that just provides so much protection for the passenger like this does. It really is awesome. And so I can pick a certain position where it's quiet for both of us. And that's nice. I like it. So let's see here. We get up to speed. We set cruise control. And uh, ba-boom. There we go. And it'll be like this for the next, next hour or two. Pretty darn comfortable. All right, guys. Hey, we've made it to Oroville. This is Lake Oroville Dam Road. Dam Road. We stopped and uh, get some fuel. Only oh, took like, about four gallons of fuel. Hadn't really uh, started off with a full tank, but uh, here we are. We'll start heading up into the mountains now. Just a little bit more of this freeway stuff. Just getting hot today and uh, head into the canyon. Get back with you then. All right, we are at Lake Oroville. Crossing the Lake Oroville Bridge? I don't know what bridge this is. It said cyclist dismount. So if you're on a bicycle, you're supposed to walk it? That'd be crazy. You can't really see off the bridge that well, but it's pretty far down there. You can see the other way on, but it'll look really quick, and you can see the houseboats down there. I know. Crazy. And then from here, I was 2 CHP. We work our way up the mountain and then back down the other side. Which is kind of the beginning of the fun stuff, because you can tell we got some, finally have some turns. <laughs> Coming down into the canyon, Highway 70, Feather River Canyon. Lots of fires come through here. <laughs> at least that's what we've been talking about. Look at all that. The hills there are, look gray. It's just like a fuzzy gray look, but it's all the trees that were burnt. Still an awesome road. A couple of sport bikes.
Anyway, so down into the canyon we go. And there's the bridge I was talking about, just right up here. Next bridge we cross. This used to be all forest, but man, what a beautiful road. I love that bridge, check that out. Railroad goes underneath it. I don't know if you can see down there, there's a bridge for a railroad. Almost looks like it's a toy. Oh, got a big logging truck coming. Make sure he's off. There you go. <laughs> Just want to make sure he was on his own side. It gets a little prettier in here. You can see a few more trees, and then now they've got that dam we just passed, and then it's a lot deeper water, so a lot prettier. Good places to stop, I know, up here for some like lunch places. I mean, you can stop kind of anywhere, but I'm looking for a normal rest stop that's got like you know. Maybe some shade and some uh, trees or some bathrooms or... Otherwise, these look kind of all work. I mean, there's shade in a lot of these places. But this nice, windy road. No, I kind of like lunch though. Oh, look at the banked corners, you know. <laughs> Just awesome. Yeah. It seems like there's so few chances I've come out here and road out here that um, it's really not that far I should just plan on doing it more often well it looks really nice right here and we get a little bit of shade so that's cool the rest area is up here in just like a half a mile A shady spot right here for my motorcycle look at that boom hey guys thanks for making it this far this was our little lunch spot here and we're gonna stop here we'll pick you up again as soon as we take off the up the rest of this canyon right now we're gonna stop for some lunch and then the rest of the day we're gonna make it out to our lodge that we're gonna stay at which is really cool got to see that and then uh, down Highway 49. But before we get to Highway 49, we're going to check out two spots. One, a great breakfast spot to have uh, when you're out this way. And another is uh, to go up to Gold Lake and then down Highway 49. It's going to be a fantastic ride. Catch you next week. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next episode.